नाइन पेपर टू वेरियंट थ्री मे जून टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अ बॉल इज थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपर टूवर्ड्स द सीलिंग एंड द एंड देन रिबाउंड्स एज इलेटेड बॉल इज मूविंग अपवर्ड स्ट्राइक ऑन द सीलिंग एंड देन मूव्स बैक द बॉल इज थ्रोन विद द स्पीड ऑफ नाइन थ्रोन विद स्पीड ऑफ नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड टेक्स अ टाइम ऑफ पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सेवन सेकेंड टू रीच द सीलिंग द बॉल इज इन दैट कॉन्टेक्ट विद द सीलिंग for a further time of 0.085 second and until leaving it will it uh, until leaving it with the speed of 3.8 meter per second the mass of the ball is 0.056 kg assume that there the air resistance is negligible show that uh, show that the ball reaches the ceiling with the speed of 6 meter per second so the speed is uh, v minus u over 2 a2 equals to g <clears throat> so g v minus u equals gt so uh, when ball is moving upward so g will be minus minus 9.8 into time 0.37 equals v minus 9.6 so the spot uh, the speed is calculated as 5.974 uh, approximately estimated to 6.0 meter per second okay now part b calculate the height of the ceiling above the point from which the ball was thrown so the second equation of motion 2gh equals v square minus u square my 2 g again minus 9.8 into h v square 6 square right like we have calculated over here and u square initial velocity which is what which is 9.6 meter per second so after that the h is 2.86 so rounding off is 2.9 because the question is uh, is in two significant figures so 2.9 in two significant figures c the increase in gravitational potential energy of the ball for its movement from its initial position to the ceiling so the potential energy formula the change in potential energy formula is potential energy mg delta h so delta h is the difference in height which is what uh which is stated mass is 0.056 g is 9.8 and 2.9 2.9 here is the difference in temperature uh, difference in height so potential difference will be 1.59 again with the two significant significant figure it is 9 1.6 joule so option of uh, uh part 2 the decrease in kinetic energy of the ball while it is in contact with the ceiling so first of all kinetic energy is all or uh, all although decreasing but when it is contact kinetic energy <coughs> decreases due to some loss due to collision so delta k change in kinetic energy is half v square minus u square so v square minus u square so this suppose to be this is uh, not going to be here right bracket so bracket will be right here so kinetic energy is half 0.056 the mass 6 is square and 3.8 is square that is actually after rebound so the kinetic energy decreases is 0.60 joules so option uh, part d state how the newton's third law applies to the collision between the ball and the ceiling for example the force applied by the ball on the ceiling is equal and opposite to the force applied by the ceiling on the ball 
ऑप्शन पार्ट ई कैलकुलेट द चेंज इन मोमेंट ऑफ बॉल ड्यूरिंग द कोलिजन सो चेंज इन मोमेंटम इज इट्स अ केस ऑफ रिबाउंड सो द बोथ वेलोसिटीज बिफोर एंड आफ्टर विल बी एडेड डेल्टा पी इज इक्वल्स मास v plus u 0.056 mass 6 is the final speed and uh, the rebound speed is 3.8 so this will be added 0.548 which is equals to 0.55 newton second part f determine the magnitude of the average force exerted by the ceiling on the board during the collision right so the resultant force total resultant force will be rate of change in momentum so change in momentum is 0.5 and the time is 0.085 second right which is during the collision so so the resultant force is equal to second uh, 6.47 newton as we know the weight of the ball is, is downward mg which is actually the uh, the gravitational force applied on the ball so mass is 0.056 g is 9.8 so the weight of the ball or you can say the gravitational force of the ball on the ball is 0.5488 so the resultant force is equals to the sum of the weight right plus frictional uh, the force of the ceiling on the ball so this will be way uh, to net force will be 6.47 and uh, the weight is 0.548 so subtracting it we will get 5.92 which is with the two significant figure is 